All right. Welcome to today's lesson. Today we've looked at single offsets, kind of simple pipe offsets in our last lesson. We've been lesson two. So now we move to the setup for kind of our lesson three material. So I just have this as like a rolling, a rolling offset setup video. And then we'll move into a lesson with it. But what I wanted to do here is take a look at what a rolling offset is and how we set this up to get our information so then we can start drawing in 2D. So dealing with rolling offsets, we, we, we go into kind of the Z-axis with AutoCAD. And, but to actually prevent from having to draw in the Z-axis and to still kind of keep drawing a more complicated offset like this, in on paper in 2D or on in AutoCAD in 2D kind of is uh, is we just do a little bit of triangulation ahead of time to come up with some dimensions and and then it will kind of do the work for us as we put it back to 2D so I wanted to take a look at this picture that I have on the screen here I think this shows really well where I'm going with this is uh, and this is really common in pipe runs uh, that they don't just stay on one plane, that they actually sometimes have a compound plane so that we so that we uh, have to account for that. So not only are they offset, and that's why this box around this fitting makes this makes all the difference in this view is that not only are they offset uh, in this direction, kind of how I'm pointing, like we've done, we've done we've done simple offset offsets that are just in one offset direction. But now we've also got an offset in like a vertical direction here so you know these these two pipes coming together are changing plane so and with Pythagorean theorem we will conquer this so here's a good look at that um, I can bring up and take a look at kind of a model in in AutoCAD here looking at the same thing kind of that uh, you know as I'm looking maybe I'm looking kind of down the x-axis here I can see the Z rise in this in this view here so if I look at this a little bit closer you know if this if this if the if the lower part of my fitting here uh, offset is kind of on the x-axis kind of going away from me uh, you know just dis disregard my UCS symbol here if it doesn't make sense just listen to my voice when I'm saying but if this if this uh, if this is just going away from me on the x-axis, this is kind of representing my z rise here. And if I just like rotate this, maybe this way, and let me kind of put this in my screen so we can see it here. But if I keep rotating this, this kind of kind of is going to appear like it on that picture we just showed where you know, if this is my x-axis here, then my y-axis has this offset, and then my z-axis has kind of this offset here. So we've just got this compound offset. Call it a rolling offset. So let me show you how we set up. Uh, and I guess briefly I'll just say like in the field, what I would measure is I would want I, – I need – I. You know, on the single offsets, we just needed two dimensions. We needed an offset and a run, and we called the run kind of the distance between the two pipes here. And then the offset was just how far offset they were from each other. So this one here, I just add a third dimension to that. And out in the field, if I had these, you know, these two runs of pipes in front of me, that would become kind of obvious that I would need not only do I need that run distance or the distance between the two pipes kind of across the x-axis here, but I also, and then I need the offset kind of in that y-axis area, but now I need kind of a roll is what we call that in the z-axis area. So now I've got three figures to compute. So with that in mind and a little bit of explanation, let's go to a, let's go to a drawing pane. And I'm going to go, now I'm going to kind of show and talk through how I set this up. So in our in our class exercise that we're going to draw, it'll kind of use the same dimensions that I'm using for this rolling offset setup. So this the dimensions I'm using here relate to uh, the exercise we're going to pick up on is kind of our class three exercise. So 
Uh, this is just just kind of an AutoCAD drawing of you know that first that first Word document that I was looking at back to here. So I've just kind of taken this information. Now let's put some dimensions to it in actually AutoCAD. So back to this and the information we're working with is did I write that in here? It might be on my other document here. Let me go let me go quickly over here to this document. This is kind of the information we're working with and and uh, I guess one of the biggest things I've changed in this exercise is I'm, I'm working with tube and not pipe so I've just done this so we get the difference that tubing is measured to the OD usually so we don't have to do the you usually don't have to reference a chart like four and a half inch OD tube measures four and a half inches OD or four and a half inch tube or if it was three inch tube it would just be three inches to the OD and uh, we don't pipe is the one that has the funny rule that you'll need a chart to reference for true ODs so here I've kind of thrown in a curve and we've got we're working with tube four and a half inch OD tube so which and then I think I've made this like 12 gauge tube in my drawing here that has like a, a wall thickness of about 12 gauge which tubing can be referenced by gauge like that or decimally what the wall thickness is similar to square tubing can decimally have a wall thickness or or and uh, so this one I think when I drew this it was like maybe a 12 gauge wall thickness here a point one oh nine or so hundred nine thousands wall thickness on this um, if that, that's not really required to actually draw how we're going to draw this mostly it's that OD dimension again to lock in this drawing so tubing diameter four and a half inch that's going to be I'm going to be able to take that dimension right to AutoCAD and use that figure um, we've got a run of four and a quarter inches and that's kind of the distance between the two pipe here and we've got a vertical offset of three inches so that's kind of in that Z direction and the roll is kind of back in that Y direction is three and a half inches so now let me go with those dimensions in mind and uh, I've got notes and stuff and sheets to reference this because in my AutoCAD, I don't think I have those. I think I do have those written. Yeah, so let's bring these up now. So with those dimensions, I was able to kind of lay out this box. So, you know, this is my center line of pipe coming into the bottom of my box. Then it travels up and catches the other pipe, center line of pipe here. So what I've done is I've kind of input those figures. The run is four and a quarter inches, kind of the distance in between. That's kind of like their center line of our miter when we're doing a mitered pipe. That run distance four and a quarter. I've got that. Uh, I've used that information to put in my vertical offset of three inches. That's how you know from center line of pipe. That's how far apart they are, kind of in that Z direction. And then that roll, kind of back in that Y direction, is at three and a half inches. They're offset this way. So these are my two offset distances: three and a half and three. So with that information you can kind of see in this drawing I've kind of drawn this green triangle here and then I've got this this blue triangle here so, and these these two communicate to get me my true travel distance between the two pipe here so I can't just go straight to this dimension because I don't have it if I look at this if I look at this uh, this triangle as I highlight it it does have the true length of run four and a quarter inches but in this view I kinda have this combination of kind of an X sorry a YZ shift in plane here and I don't I wasn't given that information that's kind of a that's in a that's kind of in a YZ direction here so using my right triangle I can't necessarily solve for that right off the bat but what I can do is then back analyze what my other two given information is, a three inch vertical offset and a three and a half inch roll. Now these two do share a 90 degree corner together, which allows me to use Pythagorean theorem here um, in this green triangle. So if I like ghost in this box, it kind of locks in the height of this box that I've drawn. And that's that vertical height of three, and then it gives me this how far off from center line these two pipes are of three and a half inches. So with those two, I can just snap in this line and get this is what I've kind of designated as a hypotenuse number one. 
And that kind of can relate to the run. So now once I've locked that in, this hypotenuse number one dimension, I can use it associated with the run and kind of view this as a triangle that just kind of leans over, leans over towards that other pipe. It still shares this 90 degree corner, which allows me to use Pythagorean theorem rule to define this travel. So I've kind of made this new triangle, the secondary triangle, and uh, to be able to come up with a travel distance that I'm truly looking for. So the way I draw that is I take the information I'm given. So, and I've kind of drawn these kind of in view. So as you see me come over here to the side now, I just took and kind of pull, extracted that triangle out of my drawing and set it up so that my roll, three and a half inches, three inches. And when I snap that line across here, I was able to like take a dimension and pull it out and it's 4.6098 inches long. So that just helped me solve. Didn't even have to punch that in the calculator. I used AutoCAD to snap those and then pulled up the dimension line. And that now solves for that missing length here that's in this YZ plane here. So now I take that information and I put it into another triangle. So then I, I move over this way. And I set it up, and it's kind of in really I didn't draw it like in total relationship to how I've drawn it here, but it, I've, I have kept the sides kind of going the same direction. So I've taken my run distance. That's the, the deepest part of my box here, kind of in the uh, X direction there. And I've uh, then put in that, which was a known dimension right off, you know, that was a, that was a measurement I would have measured and had that information to start this. And then... You know, then I got my hypotenuse one dimension, 4.6098. Made a right triangle out of those two, and then it gave me this missing dimension, 6.27 on the travel of that. That ends up being my the distance in reality of this travel of this triangle, which is a dimension that I can now take to just a 2D space. And uh, and use this triangle as my setup for my offset. And that is what I've drawn right here. Now I've taken that information and I've maybe kind of re I've re uh, drawn this triangle to be kind of in the in the way I've drawn my other offset from the previous exercise, just to keep things kind of the same. Um, I've kept my run as the distance between my two pipes. So here's my center line of pipe. And here's my other center line of pipe. So all I'm doing is kind of taking this, this figure here and I'm just kind of bringing it over here and just flatten it out in 2D space now here, given my compound dimensions that I've figured out. And this becomes kind of my offset dimension here now. And this one becomes my, my travel dimension right here. And, when I, and now when I solve... And, I, and then, so this was, this was going to be the end of this video. I just wanted to talk you through my rolling offset setup. And now, what I'll do is I'll be able to redraw this setup here and then um, develop it the same way I would a single offset. So it just kind of, now it kind of contains its compound um, dimensions for a rolling offset. And when I develop this out the same way a single offset, I'll be able to hit those two points uh, the the the, roll, the rolling off, offset are going to need me to do so it's going to actually raise me in kind of into the into into a three D into a three D plane. So go to my uh, the next video after this will be our our class lesson three where we take all this information we just found and start to uh, develop it. And I'll probably just set it up again right here and take off with it a little bit. And I may not finish that drawing in video because it will be very similar, exactly the same way as I did the lesson two development for a single offset. But I do want to have a video that shows me taking this information and then starting to develop it to a point to where uh, we really start to be exactly how we did uh, our single offset. So stay tuned and we'll see you in, in uh, class lesson three.